Calculating weight. Weight is the force experienced by a given mass in response to the presence of another mass. According to Newton's second law, F equals MA, where F is the force in Newtons on an object, M is mass in kilograms, and A is acceleration in meters per second squared. In the case of acceleration due to gravity, acceleration is given the symbol little g in order to distinguish it. Therefore, we can rewrite Newton's second law as F subscript g, force due to gravity, or weight, equals mg, where m is the mass of the object in kilograms, and g is acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. Gravity on other planets. Planets and other bodies vary in both mass and size, and as a result of this, also vary in the value of acceleration due to gravity on their surfaces. You can see here in the chart of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of bodies in the Earth's solar system, that the highest acceleration due to gravity is on the surface of Jupiter and is just a little bit less than 25 meters per second squared and ranges all the way down to Pluto which is less than 1 meter per second squared acceleration due to gravity on its surface with the Earth around about the middle at 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration due to gravity. The value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of a planet or other body is directly proportional to the amount of mass it contains. And you can see this in a graph of acceleration due to gravity versus mass for the terrestrial or rocky planets, that is, the planets of the inner solar system. Calculating weight on Earth and other planets. The mass of an object is the same regardless of the strength of the gravitational field to which it is subjected. The mass of an object depends on how much matter it contains, so is constant regardless of the strength of the gravitational field to which it is subjected. The weight of an object, however, changes with the strength of the gravitational field to which it is subjected. So the mass of an object depends on how much matter it contains, whereas the weight of an object is the force due to gravity experienced by an object in response to the gravitational field of another object. So, some worked examples of calculating the weight of an object. To calculate the weight of a 10 kilogram object on the surface of the Earth, we would use the formula F subscript G equals mg. Force due to gravity in newtons equals mass in kilograms multiplied by acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. The mass of the object is 10 kilograms, and acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth is an average of 9.8 meters per second squared. That means that a 10 kilogram object on the surface of the Earth has a weight of 98 newtons. To calculate the weight of the same object on the surface of Jupiter, we would use the same formula. F subscript G, force due to gravity in newtons, equals mg, mass in kilograms, multiplied by g, acceleration due to gravity, in meters per second squared. The mass of the object is the same, 10 kilograms, but acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Jupiter is 24.8 meters per second squared, meaning that the weight of the object on the surface of Jupiter is 248 newtons. For the same object on the surface of the Moon, we would use the same formula, F subscript G equals mg. In this case, acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Moon is 1.6 meters per second squared, meaning that the object would have a weight on the surface of the moon of 16 newtons. An object with a mass of 10 kilograms would have a weight of 98 newtons on the surface of the Earth, 248 newtons on the surface of Jupiter, and only 16 newtons on the surface of the moon. The mass of the object would remain 10 kilograms regardless of the strength of the gravitational field to which it was subjected. Only the weight, the force due to gravity, would vary. The mass of the object depends on the amount of matter it contains, whereas the weight is the force due to gravity acting on the object as a result of the gravitational field that it's sitting in. We can rearrange the equation F subscript G equals mg in order to calculate acceleration due to gravity. 
In order to do this, we divide both sides by m. And this gives us the equation f subscript g over m equals mg over m. The m's on the right hand side cancel. Therefore, we're left with the equation g acceleration due to gravity equals f subscript g force due to gravity over the mass of the object. Likewise, the equation f subscript g equals mg can be rearranged to calculate the mass of the object. In this case, we divide both sides by g and we end up with the equation m mass in kilograms equals f subscript g force due to gravity on an object in newtons divided by g acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. Summary. The mass of an object is constant, however the weight varies with the strength of the gravitational field to which it is subjected. The weight of an object can be calculated using the formula F subscript G force due to gravity in newtons equals mg mass in kilograms multiplied by g acceleration due to gravity in meters per second squared. Planets and other bodies vary in mass and size and as a result also vary in the value of acceleration due to gravity on their surfaces. The value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of a planet or other body is directly proportional to the amount of mass it contains. Thank you for watching.